Soccer and Slurpee in the Haunted School by me, Mark Ricketts, illustrated by Jen Buchholz. Chapter 1. Haunted Gym Sako tried to quiet Slurpee down because he knew that Mr. Applepots, their usual P.E. teacher, was not here today. Sako had heard the substitute teacher was very grumpy. Please be quiet, shouted the substitute. As the class walked into the gym, scary music began to play. Slurpee stuck close behind Sako. Once the class was all inside and their eyes got used to the dark, the class saw a gym full of equipment and Halloween decorations. Ooh, ah, said the class all at once. Slurpee, this is an obstacle course, whispered Sako. What's that? asked Slurpee. It's a pathway that you follow around the gym. Along the way, there are things in your way that you have to get past, explained Sako. I am Mr. Grumpful, said the substitute teacher. And today you will go through this haunted obstacle course. The class cheered. Yes! Woo-hoo! Yeah! Chapter 2, Obstacle Course You will follow the curvy pathway, started Mr. Grumpful as he explained the course. First, you will zigzag through the bowling pins. Second, you will go under the white sheet. Next, you will ride a scooter around the tires. Then you come to a spider web that you must carefully step through without touching it. After that, you will get on a giant mat and jump over the hurdle. You will go straight between the mats standing on their sides. When you come out, you will climb up the steps and then roll down the hill mat. The final part of the course is a river of scars that you should leap over, finished Mr. Grumpful. Be safe, be helpful, and wait your turn today, warned Mr. Grumpful. Don't knock it down. I had to set this up myself, and I don't want to do it again. Sako and Slurpee were one of the last groups of students to go through the course. Sako encouraged Slurpee as they went past all of the obstacles. Chapter 3. Look out for ghosts. Slurpee had been out of shape before he began exercising, but now he was exercising so often that he was even faster than Sako and raced ahead of him. As they came to the end of the course, Slurpee lost control of his speed and slipped into a mat that was standing on its side. The mat fell and started knocking down other mats and obstacles like dominoes. Sako then tripped over one of the fallen mats, stepped on a scarf, and started sliding right at Mr. Grumpful. Slurpee! yelled Sako as he slid across the floor. Sako ran right into Mr. Grumpful, who was covered with a white bed sheet that had fallen from the course. You look like a ghost, said Slurpee to Mr. Grumpful. Sako stood there, worried Mr. Grumpful would be upset that his course was ruined. Instead, Mr. Grumpful exclaimed, Slurpee, I've been grumpy all day today because I didn't have an idea for my Halloween costume. Now I do, thanks to you. It was soon time to go as the students were then led back to the classroom by their teacher. Chapter 4. Best Costume All the kids changed into their costumes for the Halloween party. Sokka was dressed as Pirate Percy, a pirate they had met on his summer vacation. As he looked around for Slurpee, Sokka saw Mr. G, dressed as a ghost, a witch, and a clown to name a few. But what he saw next left him speechless. Across the room, he saw what looked like himself looking back. Blinking, he realized that Slurpee had dressed up to look just like him. What do you think, Sacco? asked Slurpee. Listen to this, Slurpee continued. He changed his voice to be deeper like Sacco's and mimicked him saying one of Sacco's favorite sayings. Of course you do. See, I'm you, Sacco. Slurpee beamed. Later, Sacco sipped on some punch. He thought of all the fun that he had today. I guess even with all that happened today, it was still a fun Halloween, thought Sako. An instant later, from the other side of the table, he heard Slurpee call, I got you some more punch, Sako! Before Sako had a chance to say anything, Slurpee had run and tripped on his costume, sending the punch flying. The very next moment, a soaked, dripping in red Sako stood there in disbelief at what had just happened. Slurpee stood next to his friend with a smile on his costume's face. Thank you, 
said Slurpee as he talked like Psycho. That hit the spot. Then he added, Happy Halloween. The end. You could draw a map of your obstacle course. This is the map I drew before I set up my obstacle course at school this year.